Hallo, hallo, ich meine lieben Freunde und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Batman The Telltale Series und ja, wir gehen jetzt hier in den Cobblepot Park, um Oswald Cobblepot zu treffen, zu suchen, zu treffen. Und wir, was ist denn, da wollte ich doch noch gar nicht hin. Könnt ihr bitte wieder zurücklaufen? Danke. Hat mich jetzt einfach da hochgetan. Ich will hier runterlaufen. Kann man denn nicht rennen oder so? Früher ging mal zu rennen. Okay, was haben wir denn hier? Aktuelle Zeitung. Okay. Ach Mensch! Oh. Was soll denn das? So, wir gehen nochmal die Treppe runter. <lacht> ich will dann hier natürlich alles sehen. Was haben wir denn hier? Graffiti. Armstrong. Cobblepot Park. Und er guckt sich alles stumm schweigend an. So, dann gehen wir mal auf den On the Way. Oh, hier liegt ein Obdachloser. Oh komm, dann geben wir mal ein bisschen Kleingeld. Thank you, Sir. Das machen wir natürlich. Obwohl meistens die sich dann als äh, da rausstellen, die dich dann irgendwie angreifen. Das brennende Fass. Verspäte mich, treffen wir uns an der Statue. Was? No others. Oh, da stand doch gerade noch jemand, nicht? Wir haben da einen kleinen Punk. Ich muss natürlich alles umschauen. Erste Müll. Gut, hier kommt man nicht raus. Graffiti Nummer 1. <lacht> Weia. Ja, dieser Park. Eine Tafel. Koppelpott Park. Das ist nicht, was es früher war. Noch ein Graffiti. Zane. Zane ist ja auch äh, ein Gegner von Batman. Der Dealer. Hey. Beat it. Nett. Okay, wir können jetzt nur noch die Statue angucken. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. The moment! Come here! Think that'll do? Oh. 
Hä? Okay, ich muss schneller werden. Right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> This city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know, Alfred told me. <sighs> It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. <lacht> Die Pressekonferenz für das neue Krankenhaus fängt bald an. Auto wartet südlich des Parks. Ja. Da hat wohl jemand was Großes vor. 
was Großes, Böses vor mit unserer Stadt. <lacht> Wayne Manor. Coole Karre. Schaut fast aus wie das Bettmobil. Mr. Wayne, over here. Right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but... Boy, does she have charm. <laughs> no, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Can it be? Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And we're mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid escape, are even more dangerous than mm -hmm. before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham, to stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, My parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time we won't fail those who need us most. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have some decency. 
Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Ja, das ist wohl Falcons Werk, dass sie alle irgendwie so ein Zeug haben. So, so, so eine Quelle. Da bin ich mir ziemlich sicher. Da versucht er es jetzt auszuspielen. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's got to be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence. And any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Hmm. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Ja, Gordon. Und du wüsstest. Guck mal, wollen wir uns mal das Bildchen angucken. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... I'm a bit busy right now, Miss Vale. As you can see, Gotham's finest, not the best house guests. Yeah, the kind who steal things. Listen, Bruce, a scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette <laughs> received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. 
Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Um. This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this... On the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Ja, da wurden wir ganz schön verarscht. Cave Triste, 17.23 Uhr. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope yeah. you're not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham. 
introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hmm. Hey, it's Harvey. Da sitzt sie vor uns, Catwoman. Das war jetzt gerade schöne Unterhaltung. Hat mir gefallen. Dieses, du weißt, wer ich bin, ich weiß, wer du bist, aber er weiß nicht, wer wir sind. War schön, hat mir gefallen gerade. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. Oh, you don't need my help. You seem pretty capable of handling this yourself. Oh, I intend to. Just give me back the drive and I'll be on my merry little way. Yeah, I'd rather not. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. 
Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Ja, liebe Freunde, wir sind eigentlich schon wieder hier über der Zeit. <lacht> Aber das Gespräch war jetzt natürlich sehr cool, muss ich sagen. War sehr, sehr Alfred, cool. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. So, liebe Freunde, aber an dieser Stelle, bevor wir natürlich diese Tür öffnen, werden wir erstmal heute wieder den Part abschließen, liebe Freunde. Das war's erstmal. Ja, ist sehr cool, die Geschichte so zu erfahren. Das sage ich eigentlich am jeden Partende. Finde ich sehr cool, sehr spannend. Und ja, ich würde sagen, sehen wir uns dann morgen wieder. Quatsche ich mal nicht groß rum. Und ja, bis dahin erstmal. Tschüss.